este în economia partidei Delgado, acolo este va fi corner, dragi ascultători de... Hey, I'm Simon Birkfinger and welcome to Golden Retriever Recording Studio where we made the new Philadelphia Grand Jury album, Summer of Doom. Don't panic, I... uh, generally what occurred with the album is the guys came for 10 days, we brought our friend Tim Whitten, who's a really excellent producer from Sydney also. We just bought this big old tape machine from the Opera House here in Berlin. They're called Electronines. They're probably my favorite thing in the world. It's old US Army compressor from 1957. That's a good guy. The only thing that needs to be done is a couple more lyrics. In the meantime, the guys, I think the guys have been working hard in Sydney, crossing the T's and dotting the I's, you know. They're pretty thorough and they have pretty good setups. I'm really looking forward to hearing what they've been doing. Hello there. Welcome to Leisure Suit Studios. This is my favorite synthesizer, the MS-20. It does lots of great stuff, like this. And other such fun things. So we recorded MC Bad Genius doing some breathing. <sighs> Pretty cool. This is the MS2000 keyboard, which is very fun. It's like a digital thing, but it's got all kinds of great filters and everything. Wow! Very exciting. It's sort of like a delay reverb pedal. It makes very cool sounds. And we record all this vocoder for the record, and then I sent it to Simon in Germany. And then he just wrote back an email and it just said, no. <laughs> and he was right. So, just taking you down to my personal studio and you get a bit of an inside look at where the new Philadelphia Grand Jury album was recorded. In part. Hey, I'm MC Bad Genius. This is my personal studio. Let's go lay something down. We drive expensive cars. We don't care where you came from, what you did or who you are. So much to do and I don't want to wait. I want it now. Yeah, so what happens is we record this guitar and it goes through this array of uh, very, very expensive booty pedals uh, into the M box, which um, it comes down here into the laptop running Pro Tools. A nice little acoustic there, it has a really nice warm sound. The synth down hiding there. Probably the rusted strings are probably worse than all the knocks on the side. Look, it's not a great setup, let's be honest. And it's probably gonna sound a little bit rubbish, but don't think it's got a good studio. He can kind of polish it all up, that'll be great. This is where I sit for thousands and thousands of hours. It's a Neotech, it's made in 1982, same as me. This belonged to Scott Whalen from the Stone Temple Pilots. I bought this off him um, from his home studio. Every button was like um, But with, uh, with a lot of patience, uh, from, from mostly from my wife, I was able to restore it and get it working. Can't make an album without a ghetto blaster to hear if it actually sounds good on the streets. Um, oh yeah, over here. Brazilian little pedals, lots of fun to be had in there. It's called a Rhythm Matrix, and it's got funk mode, disco mode, rock mode, or miscellaneous. Silver Tone from 1959. Uh, there's heaps of microphones, there's a grand piano, there's a bucket load of amps. Cost me 15 euro, and um, I love it. I really love it. Yeah, usually Dan would drum in this little drum cubby, and we'd all stand about, and we actually usually set up all the amplifiers so that they were in the same room and let the sound bleed. It's too dark. It's too dark in here. Anyway, there's, there's a room, that's the little drum cubby. <laughs> this thing is the key to the Philly J sound. It's called a ball and biscuit. It used to cost a hundred bucks, then the white stripes used them a lot on Elephant, and they, uh, the price suddenly became like 600 bucks. So thanks Jack White for ruining it for everybody. I can't even put it back together. The album left here kind of not quite finished, but the guys, they've got setups now. Um, like Bad Genius has a little studio he's been telling me about and Dan Sweat's been doing a lot of work in his studio and they, they've assured me that, yeah, gonna get finished on time, it's on track so I'm looking forward to hearing that. Yeah.